Hey, it's Clay Trade, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol ZN. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to this time frame, I think that's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price, and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I don't mean to state the obvious, but I will anyways. This one uh, has been in just a great trend and continues to do so even after today. Very nice price movement on the day, but what really catches the eye is the amount of volume. So, uh, you know, you compare that back with the previous days and you can see that today's volume uh, is not only has, has had the biggest volume, but even on top of that, uh, that volume has been very consistent throughout the course of the day. So anyways, let's map out some levels of support and then we can talk some areas of resistance. So the ideal level of support going forward I mean, hey, Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward? That would be right there at about $5.35. Now, don't get me wrong. If the price falls below $5.35, I'm not saying that the entire chart's ruined or anything like that. But yeah, if the price can stay above $5.35, that would definitely be, you know, the best case scenario going forward. Taking a step back, though, and just looking at the big picture of things. So if you're just saying, Clay, look, I just want a very simplistic way to measure the health of the move. Well, how am I defining the move? Well, the move is simply just what's been going on. This broad overall drifting, quote unquote, of the price upwards is what, you know, how I'm defining, you know, the term, the move. So how do you gauge the health of that in a very simplistic manner? Well, that's where the purple line here comes into play, the famous 50 period simple moving average keyword there being moving. So as time goes by, this line is just going to continue to move its way upwards and look something like that. So the very cut and dry, the, word, the very simplistic way to, to, you know, gauge the health of the move, simply put, as long as the price is above that purple line going forward, the bulls are in full control, no questions asked. Now, what about areas of resistance? If this upwards move is going to continue, where are some of these potential battlegrounds at? As it stands right now, that the key level, at least in my opinion, right up here around $6.45. Yes, I realize technically the price did get up above it and got as high, you know, up here. But I'd say the main point of price congestion is more so right around that area. Uh, so, but don't get me wrong, yes, this level up here. Around 680 is indeed a level of resistance, but before you start talking about doing battle with that one, in my opinion, that first ba uh, battleground that needs to be cleared right there at $6.45. But really, at the end of the day, those resistance levels are moot uh, points because as long as the price keeps on building higher bases like this chart has been doing, then the long-term chart will continue to take care of itself, and that includes breaking areas of resistance. So nice way to close out the week. We'll see how it all unfolds next week. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.